Jesus. The Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much for another day that's dawned and the importance of this day that we have woken up to. God, we are grateful for the gift that you give us of life, of joy, of love. And on this day when we celebrate your great love for us, and how you've shown it not only in your death upon the cross, but in your return, the empty tomb. God, help us. <clears throat> help us, Lord, to remember what it is that you call us to, who it is you call us to be. And God, strengthen us by the truth of your resurrection as it shapes us and changes us more and more into the likeness of our resurrected Lord. Be with us this morning, Lord, as we worship, as we praise your name. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. From the Gospel of John, chapter 20. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrappings lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen wrappings, but rolled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in. And he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. Then the disciples returned to their homes. <clears throat> On this morning, we remember that the tomb was empty. But I look around and I see all of these graves here this morning. And I know that they're not. I know that in them are people that we love. People who've gone on before us. People who are waiting. Waiting for that coming day when the trumpet will sound and Christ will call us all out of the grave to be raised with Him. I don't know how it works. I don't. But I trust it. I don't know how Christ came back from the dead. But I trust it. I don't know what happened on Saturday. I don't know what it looked like when the stone rolled away, when the light shone from the tomb. I don't know if there was light. I don't know how it happened. But I trust it. And I hope in that trust <clears throat> every day that it changes something in me. That every day when the sun comes up, there's another chance at resurrection in my own life. Another chance Another chance to do what God calls me to do. Another chance to live the life that Christ calls me to live. Because with every death, there comes a resurrection. It's what Christ taught, has taught us. It's what Christ shows us on this Easter Sunday. And even in the darkest time, there's hope. Even if we don't know how it happened, even we don't know why it happened, we trust in that hope and in that love. Would you pray with me? 
Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the one who was dead but is now raised. Lord, we trust in your resurrection. We trust in the hope that comes from an empty tomb. We trust in its power to change us. <coughs> to change us more and more every single day. Remind us, Lord, not only with this sunlight of this morning, but with the sunlight of every morning, that there are new chances and new resurrections every day. Chances for us to live more and more into the fullness of the love you have for all of us. Lord Jesus, be with us on this day continue to call us, to shape us, or to remind us of the power of your resurrection. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Were you there when he rose up from the grave? Can you sing that? Were you there when He rose up from the grave? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble. When he rose up from the grave. You're welcome to join us over in the CMC for breakfast this morning. And as you go out from this place to breakfast or maybe back to your home to finish sleeping. <laughs> may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May He make His face shine upon you. And may He bring you back into the loving fellowship of Christ this morning as we gather for worship. Amen. 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 Amen.